new twist in the case of the two escaped convicts in Clinton County. That's where the search for them will continue for an 11th day tomorrow. Today, the woman police say helped those men was back in court. She's Joyce Mitchell. She's been charged with providing Richard Matt and David Sweat with some of the tools they used to break out. Now law enforcement officials are investigating the alleged threat to determine if it was an attempt by Matt and Sweat to force her to help them and keep her quiet about their escape plans or if she had willingly plotted the murder of her husband with them. Tori Wells has followed it all. She's got the story from West Plattsburgh. Do you have leads that suggest that they are still in this area? Are the dogs still picking up scents? It might be best to say we don't have any leads that are indicating that they're elsewhere. Clinton County District Attorney Andrew Wiley says the search in this area near the prison will continue tomorrow. State police say they've received more than a thousand leads so far. It's expansive. Um, you know, it may only be a, a uh, you know, the, the range of it, the square footage of it is what it is, but um, the, the ability of, of these two men to backtrack, um, you know, find different places to hide each, each and every day. Um, is becoming overwhelming and obviously frustrating. Support for those doing the search is seen throughout the area. Blue ribbons are hanging in front of homes. That's how we met Missy Lavalley, a mother of four whose fiance is part of the massive manhunt. We've been locking our doors and stuff, and then with him doing like doubles on almost a daily basis and stuff, it's been really crazy. Today, her children went back to school with police keeping a watchful eye. Classes were canceled last week because Richard Matt and David Sweat were on the run. And the woman at the center of that investigation was back in court this morning, her attorney waiving a preliminary hearing. Her case will now move to county court. I've gone over the uh, charges with uh, Ms. Mitchell. Police say Joyce Mitchell gave hacksaw blades, chisels, and a screwdriver bit to the inmates, helping them escape. Tonight, CBS News is reporting that a law enforcement source says there was an agreement between Mitchell and the two escapees that once they were out of prison, they'd kill her husband. We asked the DA about that. That's what's being reported to me, and um, I'm not commenting on that, on that report. The governor has asked the inspector general to start an investigation to see how this could have happened. The district attorney told me he spoke with people in Albany today and said his office will help however it can. He doesn't want to see this happen again. In West Plattsburgh, Tori Wiles, CBS 6 News.